Why hello there! Welcome back to another video. I'm absolutely sweltered. It's like, I think it said 19 degrees on my phone. It was pouring with rain through the night. It is cloudy AF. I haven't done too much today because I cannot deal with the heat as it is. And then I decided to do a little bit of cleaning because I thought it would be cooler now. And I swear to God, I'm sweltered. So I've just taken my makeup off that I had on. I put a little bit of, what the hell is it called? saint tanning spritz on my face last night. So I'm a little bit tanned. Still keep picking this. I know. So this is the mask. It comes in two halves, so you get twice the goodness. But I thought I would read to you what it is. This is, I've been singing. <laughs> I've been having a great time. House to myself. And I had YouTube on, window open, volume up, just loving life. I know I'm not the most fantastic singer in the world. I can hold a tune. I would love to have singing lessons. And I was just loving life, reminiscing right back to my college days when I was in my 20s and when I would go out clubbing and living life to the max. And I enjoyed myself immensely. But I thought I'd give everybody in the street a break. So I'm a wee bit hoarse now. Anyway, this is the Nivea Bye Bye Dry Skin Face mask nourishing with honey and natural almond oil for dry skin. And as I say, it's paraphrased, you can get it in two Fs. So it says, oh, oh yeah. Apply generously onto the cleansed face, avoiding the eye and lip area. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, then remove leftovers with a cosmetic tissue. So let's do that, shall we? So yeah. Um, I don't know, sometimes, oh, look, see, look, look at the hair, it's standing up on my arm, goosebumps, how can I be cold, oh, that feels divine, how can I be cold when I am literally roasting, oh, this feels so nice, it says avoid lips, but gaze peace, I'm putting it on my lips, I am in such a weird mood, just now, like one minute I feel happy as Larry and then the next minute I just want to hide my bed and cry. <laughs> I don't know. Hormones maybe. This feels absolutely gorgeous. It's just, it's almost as if you're just putting on a Nivea, Nivea moisturiser. And I think I'll rub the rest into my hands because I'm really bad for using hand cream. I've got a hand cream here. Excuse me, in fact I've got two. A hand cream beside my bed, a hand cream beside my my side on the sofa. Himself has a hand cream at his table at his side of the sofa and I'm just horrendous. And see, because I play with my hair so much and it always have since I was little, I'm just so bad. Now, what I'm going to do is one of these little tubs that I've got when I empty it, I'm going to put the rest of this in because I don't need any more on my face. So... That would be a waste. So leave that one for 10 to 15 minutes and then we take it off with a cotton pad which I'll have to get from the cupboard. Oh, I need a drink. So what have you all been up to? It is the 21st of, as we say, July there, of June as I'm filming this. So it's the summer solstice and it does feel like it's been a long day. It's, I think it's heading for six o'clock now. And yeah, as I say, for the past hour, I have literally just been going on YouTube, looking up different songs, and then you remember a song and just loving it, listening to it, vibing, loving it. And for the tiniest second, it makes me miss going out, out, but yeah. The last time I went out to an actual pub or a club dancing was in 2019 for my best friend Emily's 50th birthday and I went to town that night and I got, that's the last time I was drunk. I was so drunk and I think since then I've maybe had the odd cider or 
gin and lemonade. But apart from that, I haven't really drunk because my partner doesn't drink. I mean, he would have the odd gin with me or a cider. Um, but I don't know. Like, sometimes I get the notion for it and then it passes and I'm, I'm like over it. It just doesn't bother me. But I will be completely honest with you. I... I enjoy being drunk, like I like that feeling, not being out of control drunk, but I like that happy, giddy, no cares given, but in a good way, and I'm a happy drunk, I'm not an aggressive drunk, sometimes I can get over emotional, especially if I'm thinking about my mum or certain things or what have you, but I do actually enjoy it's almost like it gives me that bit more confidence to just let go if you like, like I would never get up and sing or dance Stone Cold Sober or even Tipsy. And I love like karaoke and different things like that. But because I have a hiatus hernia and the new tablets I'm on for my anxiety, I'm not actually sure how I would be on alcohol, which this is another reason why I haven't even tried having say a drink but sometimes seeing this hot weather you're like oh a pint of cider with lots and lots of ice would be great I'm sure I'd be fine with just the one but it's the fact that the dosage is the highest dosage I've ever been on in the whole time that I've had anxiety I mean I could just ask my doctor couldn't I but yeah but no I really enjoyed that there and yesterday as well I don't know whether it was just with the sunny weather when I had the house to myself for a little bit, I just put the music on and I was just loving life, listening to the tunes. Just great. But then it also makes me sad at the same time because then I'm like, I've got no one here if I wanted to go out. Anyway, such is life. Can't afford to go out anyway, so it doesn't matter. And I would imagine it is extremely expensive even just to have a night out these days, you know. I'm going to put some of this on as well. This is the Tatcha Camellia, is it Camellia? Is that how you say it? Gold Spun Lip Balm that my lovely friend Laura sent me, which I'm super grateful for. She wasn't keen on it and I know how expensive it is, so I'm really grateful and I, I love it, Laura, so thank you so much. Skin's feeling lovely. Great, great, great. Nivea is such a good brand anyway, isn't it? So... I've got these little samples that I was sent, they're body shop stuff. So I've got strawberry hand cream in here. I forget what this one is. It looks like it's got nothing in it, but it's got a little something. This is an essence. I think this is oils of life essence, he said. This is some kind of sleeping moisturiser. This one's a CBD one. So what was that one? I forget what this one is. But when I've emptied these wee pots, I'm going to keep them because it's handy, especially when you've got stuff like that. Because you know what it's like yourself. And see, with a lot of masks, it drives me nuts, the amount of wastage there is. Like, I used my Foreo the other night. And after, I, I used the mask more than once on the thing. Like, I just keep pressing the button until I feel like the actual sheet mask has run its course. And then there's the, all this stuff left in the little um, sachet. And I'm just like, that's such a waste. It really is such a waste. I don't know. There there must be dry sheet masks that you can buy that surely you can add the essence of these things into. Let me know in the comments. Because it is it's such a waste. It's such a shame. Oh, my God. My throat. That's just from singing. Cause I could be Tell me what song, what's your favourite 90s dance song? Let me know in the comments if you liked 90s dance music. Mine's was Living Joy, I'm a Dreamer. Love it so much. Rhythm as a Dancer. They're just the best. They really just liven up your mood and make you feel great. Do, 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 do. I'm a dreamer. I won't even go there because I can't. So, what have you been up to? Let me know in the comments. Are you loving this whole weather? Because I am not. I can't cope with it, honestly. Like, literally, I, ca I can't do anything. <laughs> it just kills me. I don't know how I survived years of intense housekeeping work in this weather. 
I really don't. And my old workplace, they constantly had the heating on, even when it was in the height of summer. And it was unbearable. I think they were actually trying to kill me. Do you know that? So I just don't know how people cope with it. I really don't. I hate it. My partner's even worse than me. He Last night, he was like, I cannot wait for the cold weather because he can't deal with it at night. See, when he's trying to sleep and it's warm, he's just like, nah, not having it. Whereas he can cope moving about and doing stuff. It's at night it annoys him. But for me, it's the whole time. Even in the winter, it could be minus two and see if the heating's on at home. I, I'm just like dying. I'm like, no, nah, I can't deal. I hate it. I think I need to go and live in, like, Iceland or something. But, yes. Oh, that smells so good. I really hope, I'm hoping and praying, I have wanted the Charlotte Tilbury light to medium contour wand for the longest of times. Every time I go to get it, if I have the money, it's out of stock, constantly. Or they've only got the darker colour, which just would not work for me. Or it's in stock and I don't have the money. So I'm hoping and praying everything crossed. It's still in stock just now. I've got it sat in the basket. And I'm just hoping that when I can, it'll still be there. So send good vibes that it'll still be there. All my life that you have done. <laughs> It is <clears throat> madness. You know how I mentioned, well, I think I mentioned, I pre-record so many videos, I don't even remember, but I think I mentioned the other night that, like, well, it was, wasn't even the other night, maybe seven-ish in the morning, might have even been a little bit later, and I thought I heard something in the room, so I sat up and there was a pigeon in the room. Well, there was one in the other night as well. <laughs> And it was just sitting on the floor. It's just like, honest to God. Bruce was like, I think they're looking for somewhere to nest. And I'm like, oh, great. So wake up in the middle of the night and there'll be like pigeons everywhere. Happy days. But anyway, it went out the window fine. And it hadn't shot all over the room, which is good. But I was just, you know that way you're just like, God, that bird sounds really close. And then you like look and it's like looking at you. And it's like, <laughs> great, thanks. At least it wasn't a seagull, that would be even worse, I feel. All my life the hereafter. <sighs> oh, people. I'm getting the yes to tell you, really. I've got a collab coming up soon with another YouTuber. Um, she's called Claire Walsh. We are going to do a palette bingo using, where is it? <laughs> where is the palette? What did you do, Julie? Here it is. Oh, I feel a bit like hating now. Using this palette, because we've both got it. And the video will be going up on the 1st of August. So I am looking forward to that. I haven't done a collab with someone in the longest of times. So yeah, I contacted her and asked her if she would be interested in collabing with me and she was up for it. So we're going to do that. We're going to randomly pick four, like a, four different shadows. Like, I don't know. I think there's 16 in the pan. So if we put 16 into a random number generator and then pick them whatever and then go along the rows, I assume, and pick the colours. And I'll create a look here on my channel. She'll do the same. And yeah, it should be fun. So I'll have that to pre-record. I've still got some new bits of makeup to me that I haven't even tried yet to film with. And I'm still shopping my stash and things. So, and if I do end up getting the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand, you can bet your bottom dollar that I will be on here using it because it is like gold dust trying to get a hold of that thing. And because the past couple of days I started using this, I'm now on the hunt for two of the lipsticks. So I already have Bitch Perfect over there, the full size, which is my absolute favourite. But now I want Kim KW because it looked absolutely amazing on. And yesterday and the day before, I used Penelope Pink. 
so I really want them as well. I'm not so arsed about this side because I'm not that big into matte lipsticks, but this is the kissing formula. And on this side here, the matte ones, there's Pillow Talk, Bond Girl, Walk of Shame and stuff like that. And they're all quite dark. But they're £26, of course, for one Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. So I feel like the lipsticks will be there more than the contour wand will be. So as I say, if I do manage to scrape together the money, then the contour wand will be hopefully coming to me and I'll be over the moon. Oh, they took Empire and you're gonna roll. I'm just yabbering now. Right, time to take this off. Do I have a cotton pad in here? Oh, I don't think I do. Let me just have a look. Okay, bear with me one moment, please. Cotton pads, take the excess off. There might even be some residue of the tanning spray that comes off with it. I'm downstairs is hearing. It always sounds like they're like scraping the whole entire floor with their hoover. It's taking my tan off. That's the only thing with putting a facial spray tan on is that situation as well. Now my skin feels lovely, but it feels a bit sort of oily, I guess. Well, I give it a 10 out of 10. You can't go wrong with Nivea anyway. It's such a lovely brand. And I think it's like, look how nice my skin looks. And that's not because I have that saint tan spray on. Like, I really think it's, it's given my face some hydration and life to it so I really enjoyed that the one thing I will say though is obviously if you buy the mask there's loads left and this there's loads before you even need to open the second part so my advice to you would be if you have a little tub or a, even a little sandwich bag you can put it in and tie the sandwich bag close and then you're not gonna waste any so yes, let me know in the comments what you think of this mask. Do you think my skin looks any better for using it more hydrated? As I say, it feels really plump and hydrated. I almost feel like I don't have to go in with a moisturiser anytime soon. Whereas normally with any other sheet mask or a um, physical mask, like a clay mask or something, I do feel like I have to go straight in with the rest of my skincare. But I feel like I could leave this like this until just before I go to bed and then maybe put my eye cream and stuff on. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell to be notified of when I next upload. As always, every single Face Mask Friday video will be in my playlist. So you can check them all out there if there's any that tickle your fancy or you want to know about. And I will see you next time. Bye.